So, my device that I was using to record this on uh, died. So, that's why I don't have a... Well, that's why I'm not talking uh, during the cutscene. Or we, I, I, I cut out uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, as I think, I think I left this in. I don't remember too well, but... <sighs> so, that was the end of um, DMC Double May Cry. This video is a little bit of bonus stuff around the game, and think of it as a somewhat review. I think I'm going to name it review. I don't know. Uh, you'll see the final product on the title of the video. Um, I would like to say that there is always in the background, such as my uh, fan, because it is hot in my room. Uh, so there's uh, air condition in the background and uh, a fan right here. All right, so. Let me get on to my thoughts. Um, I'm talking, uh, and I'm not playing the game while I'm talking this time around, because like I said, my recorder got a, well, it didn't have enough power in it, and I should probably charge my uh, phone over here, because, you know, stuff. It's at 77%, so it's good. I'm currently drinking uh, tea, homemade tea, I guess you could say that, um, out of a straw, out of a uh, Charmander cup. Anyway, I changed my game picture uh, to something I think that's uh, better than my uh, face. Anyway, so final result is a D, and well, I get, uh, let's see, I'm viewing this off my uh, uh, iMovie screen, uh, must style, I think that's what it says. I don't know, this screen is very small. Uh, the screen's not big for where I'm viewing this at. Uh, have it as close to my face as uh, I think uh, physically possible, at least. There's a big old playmat here. But let me get on to the thoughts and let me stop rambling. Let me tell you my thoughts about this game as a review. Uh, when I first got into the Devil May Cry series, I started out with, uh, let me see what's over here, so I can refresh my memory. Uh, the Devil May Cry HD collection. I started out on the 360. I got first got introduced to Dante uh, and his character in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I did own a PlayStation 2, but I never heard of Devil May Cry. Uh, one of my relatives said, "Hey, a uh, character from Devil May Cry is going to be in." So, oh, cool. You no, know, like who's that character and all that. So, in Ultimate 3, or Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Fate of the Worlds, Dante was in it. I picked Dante, I liked his, uh, not really his playstyle. I'm not saying it was bad, I mean, hey, it's, it's cool and stuff, but, I mean, I liked his character. I'm not saying I liked him just because of how he moved and stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of a little bit of pressure. So, I started with HD Collection, and I played the game's chronological order. So, that's three... Devil May Cry, or Devil May Cry 3, Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry the Anime, Devil May Cry 4, Devil May Cry 2. Yeah. Then I, after I bought the HD collection, I bought uh, the Devil May Cry 4 game uh, separately on some disc stuff. So, uh, these games, uh, we'll most likely see these games later down the line. But, um, in each of those games, they had, well, I don't know about two, I don't remember two that well, but I know in three and four, and uh, three and four, they had a game mode called Bloody Palace. And in DMC, Devil May Cry, uh, there's Bloody Palace, which is what I'm currently playing in the gameplay you're seeing. However, there's a little bit of a, uh, with this Bloody Palace, and that is, it is a DLC add-on. Not in the main game, it is a DLC. You have to download this. It's not in the game. <coughs> uh, Devil May Cry 3, Bloody Palace was already there. You just had to beat the game. Don't lock it. That's fine. That's cool. You know, gives you motivation to go beat the game. What is this Bloody Palace thing about? Oh, okay. So Devil May Cry 4, oh, Bloody Palace is here again. Cool. I'll beat the game, you say. Alright. But this is a DLC. I don't know if the DLC was announced in the start, but I don't think it should have been DLC. Uh, that's just dumb. It might be. However, I will say it is free DLC. Not it didn't cost anybody anything. It was free DLC. But still, come on, man. <sighs> okay, I only got a limited time to talk, so I'll get on to my review. That was also part of the review a bit. So 
Um, my friend told me to play DMC Devil May Cry to give it a shot, but not to view it in the lens of Devil May Cry, the original series, to view it in a different lens. I have viewed it in three different lenses. I was thinking that in my head, three different uh, ways of view uh, DMC Devil May Cry. The thing is, though, I don't remember the third one. I remember the two ways, though. Um, so I will also like to say, at this time, moment, all that stuff, is uh, I'm unscripted. So I'm thinking everything off the top of my head, only with some subjects. Uh, so, yeah, is that, um, I don't know if Bloody Palace has always been about time limits. I uh, I think in uh, Devil May Cry 3, I could, um, by the way, I'm probably wrong with this, but I think Devil May Cry 3 was just play until you die type of thing. It did, had nothing to do with time limits. I could be wrong with that. Probably think about like some survival game or something. Uh, getting mixed up and stuff like that. It's been a long time since I played uh, the normal, regular, true Devil May Cry games. Anyway, so, uh, I. I'm looking through the art currently, by the way. So, yeah. So, let me uh, just say, I think the art's pretty cool. Like that, this image right now looks cool. Uh, those, uh, it looks like a really cool image, to be honest. Anyway, on to what I need to say. Uh, so, that's why I started this whole thing. I'll say, I'm going to play, but wait a second. I've always wanted to do some sort of, you know, like, let's play walkthrough something, you know, talk, try to be, you know, just just be me, just be a schmoo, just smooshy all. Just smoosh it till I uh, went, you know. Um, so that's what I did. Uh, however, this game, I was completely new to it. And I did take breaks, like week breaks uh, from it. So I could make the videos and all that stuff. And then, you know, just I don't feel like playing it or making a video this night. You know what I mean? <clears throat> you know, like, oh, I still got all these videos and stuff like that. So I took a major rest from the game. Stuff like that. So yeah, I didn't get it all, you know. So when you see me fail, it's because, you know, I took a break. And I'm very new to the game and stuff. Uh, I started to really rock out with uh, Virgil there at the ending. Because I finally got the hang of the mechanics of the game. And Virgil's gameplay style, it all started to do well. You know what I mean? It's all started to match and do really well. So, there's that. So, that's why. That's the, I'm telling you the whole backstory here. Um, I forgot about that character, to be honest. That dude with the eye. So, viewing it in the lens of Devil May Cry. Which our friend said, don't do that. But I'm going to do it for the sake of review purpose. Uh, if you're thinking this is going to be like the other Devil May Cry's, then, you know, I want to say the true Devil May Cry's, because this, this, this shouldn't have been made at all. Uh, not the way that it was made. Um, <sighs> it fails. Horribly. It fails horribly as a Devil May Cry game. Do not buy this game. To be honest, I forgot it even existed. I was like, oh yeah, all Devil May Cry. And this game did not even come to my head when I thought about Devil May Cry as a franchise, as a, as a game series. This thing is, is dead. It's dead. I think it's forgotten. I know X7 lives on. Because, I mean, X7, even though it's a failure in its own right and all that, it's not, it's not like this. Alright? <coughs> it is just so horrible, this game, compared to... Uh, the original Devil May Cry. So, if you're if you're like, oh, okay, Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry, and then you go to this game, uh, this game is way more easier than Devil May Cry. The final boss, uh, Mundus, uh, he gave no challenge to me at all. I was mainly uh, messing around, or as the kids say, uh, fucking around. Um, no challenge to me whatsoever. Final boss for a week. The only time I actually had fun was uh, with Virgil. Which I was messing around even more, but I was like, okay, time to get serious. So I started to get serious. It was it was a bit of a challenge, um, and I, it was like the only cool part, the only memorable part, which is is, is I'm talking about ways of bosses here. It's pretty sad. The whole Bob dude part, you know, the news reporter. That was a very not memorable boss fight, but much more harder than the final boss Mundus, which is like, come on. <sighs> so, fails there. Fells with Dante's looks, of course, and how he acts, you know. It's a bit, uh, I want to say a little bit generic, probably. I don't know if generic's even the right word. At this point in, in time, um, things have been said and done and remixed to death um, until some new shit needs to come along and all that. You know, maybe redefine and stuff like that. Anyway, 
but I'm trying to say here is like, okay, Dante is kind of a jerk a bit, you know, and stuff, and then through his story, he becomes not a jerk, that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? Okay, so what I want to talk about mainly is through the lens of a not Devil May Cry game. Through a lens of, okay, DMC Devil May Cry, I don't know any of these characters, I don't know anything about that. Is it a good game? It's an okay game, alright? As a Devil May Cry fan, don't get it, don't, I'd say don't waste your time. Unless, you know, you want to enter a really weird world of uh, fan fiction. Um, I do like Virgil's jacket. I'm going to be straight up honest. Virgil has a cool jacket. And I think it looked like he had surgical gloves. Anyway. Um, I'm not going to rewind, re rewind the tape here. But yeah. Anyway. Um, also, another bit of a... Is that all these costumes... The weapon costumes, those costumes are there, were DLC. Do you have to pay for them? I don't know. They are DLC. Which is like, what? This game, with everything, the Defiant Edition feels like a fully made, solid game. Like, you know, when I say solid, I don't mean, when people say solid, they mean like it's a really good game. When I meant solid, I mean like, you know, it's a complete product. That's what I mean. So, that's with all the DLCs. It makes a complete product. Like, that's not really... So the base game is just Dante himself, that whole story mode with Dante. Uh, the story mode with Dante and then the story mode with Virgil made it a somewhat okay experience. And that is bad, okay? The DLC had to be in there to make it a okay experience. No, dude. The DLC is supposed to be like good add-on stuff. Not, you know... On to the main point here. Because I'm telling you the little gripes and all that stuff. I guess the little gripes, I don't know. The ladder of the situation. Um, before I do, I'd like to explain that I started to play Bloody Palace mode as Dante to show that I didn't suck uh, as much as I did at the beginning with Dante. That, you know, I kind of got used to Dante's moves. I don't know, I like Virgil's moves that way better than Dante. But, as DMC, Devil May Cry, through, uh, through someone who's completely new, it's an okay game. You know, uh, yeah, I guess. If you're looking for an entry point to uh, games like Bayonetta and Devil May Cry, or games like that, start with this, alright? It's easy, it's not that hard. Um, Human mode is probably way more easy. I know people are probably like, put the higher difficulty. Talk about standard difficulty. Standard difficulty. Actually, I played this game not even on normal, but on Nephilim, which is, I think, the above version of normal. There's human, something, the Nephilim. So I basically played the game on hard, and it didn't even give me that much of a challenge. The only time I was like, whoa, this boss is kind of tough as the Virgil fight. When Virgil has to fight himself. That fight. Uh, you saw me struggle. I used, go I used uh, gold orbs and stuff like that on that fight. I actually did struggle. It was tough. Way tougher than uh, the Mundus fight. It shows to be all epic and stuff. And I'm not too fan of the art style of this. Because I feel like it's trying to, trying. It's, it's trying to be edgy. I don't know, it's an edge fest, I guess you'd say, and that's not really. It's like, dude, come on, dude, like, fuck this shit off, dude. You can't call this over my But the game's okay. The characters, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I should say mo, because it means, like, you know, really, you know, fucking it. Uh, it's alright, alright? It's alright game. Uh, I do say, don't waste 30 bucks on the game, though, because that's playing it up to 30 bucks for all of this. Nah. If it's on sale from 30 bucks, buy it, alright? Buy it. If it's 20 bucks. Uh, I say a good price to get this game is 10 bucks. And that's bad, alright? It's good that you get it 10 bucks. I mean, hey, it's cheap, but it's also bad, alright? Because when I love something very much, I want to waste all my money on it, alright? It's like, hey, this, this uh, like Ninja Do the anime, I really like the uh, anime. I already have it, but I heard Funimation released it. Um, and if I had the money, and if I didn't have it, I would waste, like, if it was 60 bucks, I would throw all my 60 bucks down like here. Take my money. Because I love this anime very much. 10 out of 10 anime. Um, let me move this right here. Okay, got a little bit of talking time left. I will say this, though. They should have, they should have made this game. Maybe keep the same, maybe twist some things around, maybe. But, remove the... Devil May Cry skin from it. Don't call the character Dante. Don't call the character Virgil. Don't call the character Mundus. Change the names. It, make it so, like, okay, so like the backstory of the production of the game should have been oh, it was planned to be a DMC alternative reality reboot. 
but we decided against it and instead we decided to create our original characters, you know. And I think Devil May Cry fans would have been okay with it. I mean, I would have been okay with it. The concept for Virgil's character's design, uh, Virgil's design, isn't that bad, but you call him Virgil and that's not Virgil. Remove the DMC skin, that's what I'm saying. And you get a 10 out of 10 game. I would like to see a sequel for this game, but as long as they don't call it Devil May Cry. As long as they call it something else. We're like, okay, yeah, that's the sequel to that game, but we're not calling it Devil May Cry anymore. It ain't that. It's something else, something different. Alright, I don't want to go over the time limit. There's no more uh, visuals going on. So, that's it. Let's play over. Uh, the next video... Well, you know what? I should put something at the end of this. Or maybe I shouldn't. No, no, I'm going to upload a barrage of videos, I guess you say. Not a, not a lot, but you know what I mean. A uh, video saying what's coming next and all that. And some other stuff, too. So... See ya. Oh, and one last thing. Subscribe if you want to.